This is a no-brainer. Yes. Bye. Yeah. Boy, bye. bye. Okay, so dating is more complicated than ever right now. Yes. So true. I hear. It is. So we're here to answer your most complicated questions. It's hard out here for a pimp, that's all I want to say. <laughs> we cannot promise any miracles. No, there are none, but we can promise some opinions. Okay, let's go. My husband and I are newly empty nesters. We've been together a long time that I feel like we need to spice things up. Any suggestions on how to keep the excitement alive in a long-term relationship? Speak into the microphone. <laughs> What's your recommendation on how to oh, gosh. get the mic so we can hear you this? You know what? I would, say, both ears. I would say. You do costumes? No, I don't do costumes. You know, once Little I. school girl? Once I. Oh my God. Once I tried. You play nurse and he plays bad doctor? No, no, no. Okay. Once, once I tried, once I tried this, this is so many years ago, and I got the whole negligee thing, and I'm standing at the stairs when he comes in, and he literally comes in, Stedman, walks right past me and says, What are you doing? <laughs> Uh, I got I got one better. Wrap myself up with saran wrap. No, you put, didn't. Yes, I did. With, when I was married, put on the trench coat. He came home with ta da! And he went, "What is that?" <laughs> so that's not good for your ego. So what's our question? What's our answer, Oprah, about spicing things up? Because I hear the young people today want to spice things up. So I would say. Ask him yeah. what would be spicy because that you can be standing advice. there yeah. in a saran wrap, in saran wrap, or you could be, Your you know, outfit. wrapping yourself up as a pretzel, you know, doing calisthenics. You can get limber. <laughs> yeah, you could get limber, and he, he's like, "What is that?" So you'd say, "What would be the sexiest thing that for I you, could do?" That I could do, or what really turns you on? For me, I gotta say, making cornbread. <laughs> <laughs> kind of serves the purpose. I made some cornbread yesterday, and you would have thought I stripped myself buck naked. Like a little cornbread and black eyed peas goes a long way there in my house. Go. There you go. My husband wants to know my phone's passcode, but I want to keep it private. I'm not hiding anything, but I believe in trust and boundaries. What do I do? Do not give up your passcode. Why do you say that? I think you should have your own passcode for your own phone and your personal things on your phone. I think you should. I say people who have nothing to hide, hide nothing. To me, it's no big deal if your significant other has your passcode. Does yeah. Stedman have your passcode? Stedman does not have my passcode. I do not have his. Okay. I don't have your passcode. I have yours. <laughs> <laughs> if Stedman asked you for your passcode, would you give it to him? Yeah, See? probably. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So my thing is, if you if you trust him, great, but I don't see anything wrong with giving up the passcode. The I broke up with my boyfriend of two years because at 34, he still wasn't ready to discuss even just the possibility of marriage and kids one day. And being in my 30s, I want someone I know can be, I can build a future with. I'm okay with that. But he's a great guy and we've remained close. We even still tell each other we love each other. Did I give up on him too soon or was it smart to think about my future? This only works if you're okay not making a commitment. But if you want a commitment and he doesn't after two years, I could see why you broke up with him. You need to break up with him. And yeah. you also need to harvest your eggs. If I was a 34-year-old woman out here in the world where it's hard out here for a pimp, for as, a pimp. You, yep. as you say, I would be harvesting my eggs. I used to say to my mother, if I haven't met anybody by the time I'm 32, I'm gonna go to a bar, I'm gonna meet somebody, I'm gonna take him home while I'm ovulating, and I'm not gonna tell him that this is what I'm doing, and she would say, don't tell me that, but I meant that. I've been dating a guy, and whenever he stays over, he wakes up and gets ready for work and then we leave the house together, but I just found out through some detective work that it actually, that he actually <laughs> doesn't have a job. Yikes, run. Okay, what should I do? Confront him oh or wait God. until he confesses to his imaginary job? Oh this my is a God. no brainer. This is a no brainer. Yes. Bye. Run. Boy, bye. bye. <laughs> Sleeping together on the first date, yes or no? No. No. Over are we old? No. Because I Well, we are old, but <laughs> why buy the cow when he can get the milk for free? Not that we're cows, I'm not saying that, but I just think it changes the dynamic if a guy knows he'll sleep with him on the first date. Now, if you ask guys, they say that they don't judge you if you sleep on the first date. I think they do. We no. sound very old. That's okay. That's okay. We're not old, we're just experienced. Yeah. 
So okay. we'll, we'll just say this. I hope this advice helps out. We are not experts. Okay. I have been to five, five uh, therapists when I was married. And nobody, and I do mean nobody, was better than Oprah. I'm not an expert. I don't have a degree. I, you know, I'm not it's Dr. Great Phil. Advice. But I will say that interviewing one on one over 37,584 people, but who's counting? How many? 37,000 <laughs> people one on one and seeing in real time the human dynamics mm -hmm. and seeing how. All people make the same mistakes over and over and over again. I, I'm, I'm really pretty good at advice. And I would say you guys have really have, you know, some somewhat sticky situations, but in every situation, even the fact that you're asking this question, you already know, know the, the answer. answer. You already know the answer, especially with the brother who's getting up and pretending to go to work. You already know the well, answer to that. Why does he have to be a brother? Why can't he I be a I meant brother man? in any, I meant, I meant white brother, okay, Asian okay. brother, yes, Latino brother, yeah, brother, brother. Tell that brother bye. Yeah. Boy, <laughs> bye, bye. Yeah. Oh no, oh no. Okay, for more videos like this, head over to OprahMag.com. But I thought that's where you were right now. No, but they're saying that you can go see more, but we're just reinforcing where it is. That's all. Okay. Thank you.